Now, a few years ago, with a thousand shillings in a supermarket such as this one, you would be able to fill up your shopping basket with food. What that meant is more food for your family within the month. However, today, in 2018, with a thousand shillings, all you can buy is four items. What I have here is one packet of unga for your ugali, one packet of unga for your chapati, uh, one jerry can of cooking oil, three liters, and a packet of uh, rice. That costs you 1,200 shillings for just four items, making it that much more difficult for Kenyan families to put food on the table. This is an estimate of what an average Kenyan family of five consume on food and non-food items on a monthly basis. Six packets of 2 kg maize flour, six packets of 2 kg wheat flour, three liters of cooking oil, four kilograms of sugar, eight kilograms of rice, four kilograms of meat, four kilograms of green grams, monthly vegetables, among others. In total, this amounts to approximately 21,780 shillings. It is important to note this budget is not inclusive of rent, transport or school fees. A survey by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics in 2015 showed that more than half of formal sector workers earn between 20,000 to 49,000 shillings, an income that rarely improves this greatly eroding their purchasing power. This begs the question, is the budget friendly to the so-called Wanjiko? <laughs> Meet the Masharias, they followed the budget reading keenly, but for them the budget did not provide a solid solutions. Najua, economically, our country is growing. Lakini sisi kana kama wananchi, atuon in impact kwa sababu tukieda kwa maduka, fitu inaeda juu zote, a plate of food on your table, Nishida kabisa eh, kwa mwananchi wa kawaida. Mm. Masharia father says the mandatory contribution to NHIF further depletes the family resources but its effects are yet to be felt. Kama ni hizo mahospitali, ukieda hospitali wea ni mugojwa, umeshida kwa rain, mpaka jioni, ukitibiwa, unabio hii dawa naeda ukanunwe pari furani. It is a script replayed at Roy Rose Gitambaya Estate. Traders pay an annual tax of 12,000 shillings. However, they said the value for the tax is not visible, wondering why the government was imposing taxes on the informal sector. Kitu tutu naona ni kusikia watu wameimba pesa. Kama hizo za NYS, kama hizo za NCBD, kama hizi zingine za Kenya Pipeline. Pali popote ukieda kwa sekta zote za serikari. Kuna hiyo corruption kila pahali. Na nafikiria hiyo pesa, hiyo corruption, kama igekua inatumika na hile jia inafa. Labda hizo barabara tunakomplain juu yake, hiyo mashure, hiyo mahospitari. Kama igekua inaludi hivyo igekua inesaidia. <laughs> For Josephine Masharia, the ordinary Kenyan's priority is putting food on the table and they had hoped for answers to feed their family. Sikuizi nimesikia te kama nakule nitroka na mavuto kuma kumekuwa na petro watufikili sana vile vitu ya kutumia nyumbani itakuwa imelekebishwa bei kama akiwa ni kitu kama gas kama kitu kama ni mafuta iwe bei ni chini kabisa kwa sababu watu wa chini kabisa wanaumia as the budget reading process ended they were left with more questions than answers on how to fed for their families caroline kamara reporting for channel 1 nizar